Over the first decade of the century, it became clearer that the grand strategy of the Democratic Party is to capitalize on America's growing diversity. So American Democrats try to intensify diversity by importing more of it and by encouraging Americans to adopt ever more diverse identities, such as the uh, constantly growing number of stripes on the gay flag. Democrats like to talk about how they stand up for the marginalized, although it's questionable just how marginalized you can be right now when you have one major party, the media, academia, and increasingly big business celebrating you loudly at all turns. It's probably more accurate to say that the Democrats, rather than standing up for the marginalized, are comprised of a coalition of people who see themselves on the margins of American culture, the fringes of the American story, people who identify less with the fundamental history of the United States, people who, to be frank, are kind of sick and tired of hearing about how great George Washington, Ben Franklin, and Tom Jefferson were. Whether these margins tend to be blacks, gays, liberal Jews, intellectuals, Muslims, lesbians, immigrants, Middle Eastern, and North Africans shortly, and so forth and so on. Uh, for example, one of the, the founders of Berkeley Springs, where we are gathered tonight, was George Washington, who made this town his summer White House even before there was a winter White House. To most of us who are proud to identify with America's founders, that's pretty cool. But to others, it's an annoying reminder that somebody else's ancestors got here first. When I crunched the exit poll numbers after the 2004 election, and then again after 2012, what stood out was how the more likely you are to be like a Washington or Franklin in terms of identity, in terms of achievement, or what, what but you know, basic demographic checkboxes, white, married, male, homeowning, native-born, etc., the more likely you are to vote Republican. Of course, that raises the question of why Republicans don't focus on making family afford formation more affordable, but that's a topic for another day.